Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find a settlement of a circular footing at the center and at the edge. I have been given a question which states that a circular water tank 5 meter in diameter supports a uniform load of 400 kilopascal. It is supported on a sand layer 4 meter thick that overlies 12 meter thick layer clay. Okay, below the clay is another layer of granular material which is assumed as incompressible okay the groundwater table lies four meter below the ground surface the average soil parameters and profile are shown in figure below we have to compute the settlement of the clay at the center and at the edge okay and we have to base our calculations on the initial and final stresses at the midpoint of the clay layer okay you can see the soil profile uh, we have a silty sand for a depth of four meter having unit weight of 20 kilo newton per meter cube okay then a clay layer uh, having a depth of 12 meter okay unit weight is 18 kilo newton per meter cube wide ratio is 2.6 uh, compression uh, index this is 0 0.5 pre-compression index is 0 0.08 pre-consolidation pressure is 140 kilo pascal okay and at the top uh, circular footing of diameter 5 meter okay is being loaded with a pressure of 400 kilo pascal we have to find the settlement at the center and at the edge at the mid depth of the clay layer okay first we will uh, find the initial effective stress at mid depth of clay layer okay and uh, this is uh, given as okay so mid depth of clay layer this will be 4 meter plus uh, half of 12 meter which is 6 meter so it will be 10 meter from the surface so initial effective stress it will be uh, gamma multiplied by 4 plus gamma saturated minus gamma w into 6 uh, so it will be 20 into 4 plus 18 minus 9.8 1 into 6 which is equal to 129.14 kilo pascal this is the initial effective stress at the mid depth of the clay okay before the construction of a circular fit uh, footing after the footing is constructed there will be increase in the stress okay so stress increase at the base of the footing this is uh, 400 kilo pascal uh, but we have to find the stress increase at the uh, center and at the edge of the footing uh, at the mid depth of the clay okay so stress increase at point a located at a depth uh, z at any distance r from the center of the loaded area this is given as uh, delta sigma is equal to q multiplied by a prime plus b prime uh, where these a prime and b prime are the functions of z by r and r by r okay uh, I have already made a video in which I have shown that how to uh, calculate the uh, stress increase at any depth okay uh, below the circular footing you can watch this video I will be providing the link uh, to this uh, video at the top of this video okay so for this uh, footing uh, radius of the circular area since diameter is uh, 5 meter so radius this will be 2.5 meter depth uh, from the bottom to the mid depth uh, of the clay this is uh, 10 meter okay uh, for the center of the footing radial distance r this will be 0 meter so z by r this will be 10 by 2.5 which is 4 and r by r this will be 0 after that you have to use this chart uh, Elvin chart okay uh, which uh, gives us the value of a prime with the varying values of z by r and r by r okay so for our z by r value of 4 and r by r value of 0 value of a prime this will be 0 0.02986 similarly there is another chart uh, for this b prime value okay so for z by r equal to 4 and r by r equal to 0 value of b prime this is 0 0.05707 okay so stress increase at the center of the footing at a depth of 10 meter this will be given as q multiplied by a prime plus b prime so it will be 400 multiplied by 0 0.02986 plus 0 0.05707 which is equal to 34.8 kilo pascal so final effective stress at the center of the footing this will be uh, initial effective stress plus this stress increase so it will be 129.14 plus 34.8 which is 163.94 kilo pascal similarly for the edge of the footing radial distance this will be 2.5 meter okay depth is same which is 10 so z by r this will be 10 divided by 2.5 which is 4 and r by r this will be 2.5 divided by 2.5 which is 1 again you is you will use this table so value of a prime for z by r equal to 4 and r by r equal to 1 this is equal to 0 0.02749 and value of p prime 
for z by r equal to 4 and r by r equal to 1 is 0 0.04773. Okay, so stress increase at uh, this uh, edge of the footing, uh, this is actually here, edge of the footing at a depth of 10 meter, this is given as Q multiplied by A prime plus B prime, so it will be 400 multiplied by 0 0.02749 plus 0 0.04773, which is equal to 30.01 kilopascal, okay. So final effective stress at the edge of the footing, this is Initial plus uh, fine in stress increase, so it will be 129.14 plus 30.01, which is equal to 159.2 kilopascal. Okay, after uh, finding the final effect to stress, you can now calculate the consolidation settlement. Okay, so pre consolidation stress this is given as 140 kilopascal. Okay, since the final effect to stress this is greater than the pre consolidation stress, uh, which is itself greater than the initial effect to stress. So, consolidation settlement at the center of the footing will be given as uh, CR into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma prime P divided by sigma prime I plus CC into H divided by 1 plus E log of sigma prime F divided by sigma prime P. Okay, CR is the Recompression index, which is given as 0.08. H is the height of the clay layer, which is 12 meter. E is the void ratio. Okay, sigma I is the initial effect to stress. Sigma P is the pre-consolidation stress. And sigma F, this is the final effect to stress. Okay, and sigma, uh, sorry, CC, this is the compression index. Putting values, okay. We get the value of consolidation settlement at the center of the footing equal 0 0.1236 meter or 12.36 centimeter. Similarly, consolidation settlement uh, for this uh, uh, consolidation settlement at the mid depth of the clay layer at the edge of the footing. This is again the pre consolidation stress. This is 140 kilopascal. Again, this uh, final effective stress this is greater than the pre consolidation stress, which is itself greater than the initial effective stress. So, settlement will be given again by this formula. Okay, so only thing uh, which will change in this equation is the final effect to stress at the edge of the fitting which uh, in this case is 159.2 other values will remain same okay that is the initial effect to stress uh, pre consolidation stress height of the clay layer void ratio these are all same okay only thing which is changing in this part this is the final effect to stress which is different at the center and at the edge of the footing so consolidation settlement at the edge of the footing this is 0 0.1024 meter okay or 10.24 centimeter so we can see that at the center there is uh, more settlement and at the edge there is less settlement okay or in other words we can say there there is a differential settlement between the center and at the edge of the footing okay so this is how you can calculate the uh, consolidation settlement for a circular footing at uh, any depth okay and at the center at and edge or at any other point okay i hope this uh, solution video was clear and you definitely learn something new from this video if you found this video helpful you can uh, subscribe to my channel share this video and also like this video thanks for watching and stay tuned